Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Sarah. First off, we'd like to thank the board for allowing us to do all of the cool stuff that we've done this semester and the past semesters, basically all of this year in our Spanish class. Well, first off, we've done a few countries. Uh, right now, during the spring, we've worked on 16. We grouped up and did two countries each. We had our presidents, facts about the presidents. We went into their culture, their religion. We had money what kind of money they use, the difference in the money. We had animals and the flag was the background, so we had the flags. One of the high points was when we learned about Venezuela, or my group did. I learned a lot about their culture. It's a mix of indigenous and Spanish customs, as well as regional Caribbean and Indian influences. There's this beautiful place called Angel Falls Waterfall. It kind of looks like a plateau. It's really beautiful. If you ever even visit or think about visiting Venezuela, definitely visit there. It's a very beautiful country and that's what I really lear love learning about it. Yeah, we also learned about Uruguay. They, their leader had a bunch of badges. His name was Luis Paul. Um, he has been the president since 2013. So their years definitely go way past for Wit Gars. Um, the flag, we put the flag as the background just to make the colors stand out, make draw people to it really. The colors, it had a beautiful sun as the inner piece and then it had blue and white stripes. It was, it's a really beautiful flag. Right now we are doing a online cookbook. On April 28th at 12 to 12.30 we're going to be doing a tasting party and we're going to sign a few of the physical copies of the cookbooks. We're currently making a website where you can buy them online. We don't know the prices yet, but all of the board is invited to come to our party. Um, yeah, we have, we're gonna have um, about like five copies just for the board on printed, but like she said, there is an online version. If anyone wants to go purchase one, we should have prices soon because we are starting tomorrow. And make sure you talk to Dr. Wilkerson about like all of the stuff that we've been doing. It's really cool. Uh, basically, what we're talking about right now is we spent a day in the Life Skills Kitchen and we cooked a bunch of Spanish recipes for a party that we did to present the first countries that we did, where we made websites. And some of us made a few boards, but we mostly had websites uh, explaining everything about our country. Some of the recipes that we have are batido and tequeños. We also have a soup called carbonata soup, and she'll explain what that is. It would, took about an hour to cook. You need a large pot. It serves like, would you say 26 people? 26. That's how much was in our class. It went pretty well. We had basically what we have on our boards, except on our boards we had summaries and mainly pictures, whereas on the websites we went into details on the animals and the wildlife, the recipes. We had about like five or six recipes on it, whereas on the boards we only had like four. Um, and it was different countries, so it was really fun learning about them, especially it being our first year of Spanish and taking it early. It was a really good engaging class. It's really just amazing. I love the way Dr. Wilkerson teaches because she really goes into the culture and then the language and how it relates to each different country because Spanish is like a very broad language and it's spoken in many different ways. So if we understand like how the country really differs from America first, then we can really understand the language more. I love how when we do tests, she'll give us time before and she'll put the, the words in a certain order that'll help us remember it. We would put like a verb and then three ways to translate it. She's definitely went into um, the different types of Spanish and taught us how to differ them, um, which places the different types are spoken, the types we usually use. It really helped us. I feel like taking Spanish early, she made it where it could be possible to take it early. I feel like if any other teacher would have done it, it wouldn't have worked. She is amazing. We had open house and Ms. Wilkerson, she stayed after like f and almost until five o'clock cleaning up the room and preparing. I myself stayed after and helped her. She organized the book. She has a little kitchen in her room so that we don't have to go out to life skills. She set up that. 
she put all of our poster boards on a row and she had our flags that we made last semester laminated and hung from the roof and the parents came in and they walked around and they looked at all the boards, read them all. They figured out a lot of new stuff that they didn't even know, even if they had lived there before reading these books. So it was really interesting, not only to us, but also those parents. For students coming in next year where this class is an option, I 100% re recommend it. It's definitely my favorite class. There's so many cool things that you get to learn and do. It's a very hands-on class. I 100% recommend this. It's also like an early jump into Spanish and Spanish culture before you even get into high school. And it's Spanish is really a resource you're, you can use your whole life. Like what you're learning now, you can use in your adult life for years. It's really amazing. Yeah, especially since Miss Wilkerson, she definitely knows how to prepare us for high school. So she's helping us with that. And so jumping into Spanish too the next year, it will definitely get you ready for that with vocabulary, with the countries. You really go into those countries. So showing up to high school, knowing all this, you are going to wow your teachers. And once again, we'd like to thank the board for inviting us to come talk about what we've been doing in this class. We're super excited to be going on to high school and learning more about all of these topics. And thank you, really. We really appreciate it. You've given us so much length of freedom to really actually go into Spanish and actually learn about the cultures with the cooking and everything. It was amazing. Thank you.